Okay, so this is another example of a higher order derivative question. This is actually a physics application question. So the question reads, suppose a plane is traveling at a distance of s equals f of t, which is a function of time t, as given by s equals f of t, which equals 8t squared minus 4t plus 23. What is the plane's velocity? What is the plane's acceleration? So here it tells us a little bit of information. It's telling us that the plane is traveling at a distance of s equals f of t. And this is a function of time. So they give us s of t down here. And what s really is, is the position of the plane. So we need to find the plane's velocity and the acceleration. I'm going to call this part of the question part A and this part of the question part B. So first I'm going to label what all my variables are going to be. So s is going to be my position. v is going to be my velocity. And a is going to be my acceleration. So we need to know the relationship between position, velocity, and acceleration. If you don't already know this relationship, I'll write it down for you. So the relationship between position and velocity is that velocity is equal to the first derivative of position. So here they tell us that s is actually equal to f of t. So we know that the first derivative of s is going to be the first derivative of f of t. The relationship for acceleration can actually be linked back to both velocity and position. Acceleration is the second derivative of position. And since we know that velocity is equal to the first derivative of position, we know that acceleration will be equal to the first derivative of velocity. So since s is equal to f of t, we can say here that acceleration is going to be equal to the second derivative of f of t. So once we find our velocity, it'll be easier to find our acceleration because we can just take the derivative of our velocity. So for part A, we're finding the velocity. So here we can see that velocity is equal to the first derivative of s. So s is equal to 8t squared minus 4t plus 23. So here we can take the derivative and get our velocity. So velocity is equal to the first derivative of s, which is equal to 16t minus 4. So that's your velocity. So for part b of this question, we need to find the acceleration. So instead of taking the first derivative again and then taking that derivative, since we've already found the first derivative, we can just take the derivative of velocity to get our acceleration. So if we take the derivative of velocity, we're going to get our acceleration. So the derivative of velocity is just 16. So here, the answer to part B is 16. So this is how you solve a physics application question involving position, velocity, and acceleration.